Secret Lair for Marvel is completely sold out and a lot of us were just left there waiting, hoping to buy some. What comes next? Well, stay tuned. We have a lot to talk about in today's video. By the end of today, Magic players are going to be asking the question, what went wrong with the secret layer for Marvel? Why could we not buy the product and why was not enough produced? Welcome back everyone. MTG Moxman here and thank you again for hanging out with me on my channel today. That question is going to be circulating for the next couple of days as players kind of break down what happened on Monday, November 4th. Why they waited in a queue for five hours and when they finally got through the portal of the walking man to be able to purchase something only to find out that there was nothing left. It looked something like this because that's what I came to when I finally got through the queue at about five hours through. This is it. Everything was sold out. Nothing was left available for me to purchase. And that's kind of crazy. But it gets kind of worse. Because after you go through the queue and you say, whoa, it's already all sold out. How much did Wizards of the Coast make? How much did they anticipate was going to be purchased? Was this Wizards of the Coast kind of being prudent, giving it a lower print run? Or is this the case of artificial scarcity where they purposely produce less? And when scalpers get in there and start buying a lot of this stuff up, there's just nothing left for the average Magic player to buy who is hoping to build you know, commander decks, standard decks, whatever floats their boat for fun. Kitchen table magic, popper, I don't care what format you play in. You just wanted to have these Marvel characters and now you are unable to do so. It was kind of a shock to the system for a lot of people I know. Friends, as well as people on my Patreon, the Discord, YouTube membership members, or just fans of the channel. The emails started rocking in a few hours ago and some of these people are really frustrated, anger, they're calling disaster and all these horrible things. But really, there's a lot more going on than just there wasn't enough produced. It looks like their system broke down throughout the day. It looks like there was a hard time for players to log in to get things. And the worst was, after you found out you couldn't purchase any, after Magic players found out there was none left for them to buy. You can see here, guys, on the secondary market, people already have these things up on eBay. They've already got things going for other people to purchase. And some of the sales are already happening. Some of these things are not going to be bought or sold and there'll be adjustments on the market. But either way, you're being asked to pay even more than the asking price from Wizards of the Coast when you saw those prices. They're so much higher than what players thought they were going to be. Now, in recent memory, we had the Monty Python uh, secret layer, and that did sell out. But other than that, most secret layers have not sold out in recent history. But with the universes beyond Marvel products coming down the pipeline and the anticipation we heard from the Q3 quarterly meeting with Chris Cox, it sounded like they knew this was going to be a very popular, very big product. So why did they not print enough of it? Why is there not enough out there? And then, of course, if we take a moment and we add in that information of how many people got into the queue but did not purchase the product, they can extrapolate how many people missed out. They know how many people didn't get in to buy the product. They know how many people got logged off of the system. When they go looking and sifting through the trash heap that was the servers today, I myself waited five hours only to find out it was sold out, like many of you. But when you sift through that and say what went wrong, there's gonna be a lot for them a lot that did not go right today. No, I don't think they printed enough. I don't care about the artificial scarcity. I know a lot of people will get that tinfoil hat going and it very well could be true. You can also have the servers going down. You finally get into the queue and you get knocked out. Something goes wrong and you try to get back in. It's all sold out. There's other people who bought the maximum. They bought five as much as they could and their friends bought five. And someone so bought five because, yeah, this is going to be so expensive, I can flip it on the secondary market. And there's that crowd. Then there's the scalpers in there as well who have multiple bot accounts or have friends of friends at work all logging at the same time. There are lots of ways of looking at this. And all of them can seem like a disastrous experience. 
if you're coming from the point of view of a player who just wanted to get one. You wanted to get Wolverine, you wanted the Berserk, you wanted to get Storm as your new commander and be able to experience the cards. Maybe you're just a fan of the channel and you're like, I love Marvel stuff. I just want to get all of it as much as I can. The Marvel products are awesome. Whatever it may be, depending on your point of view, disaster, or I got lucky and got in. Because there's two sides to every coin. Now, I know from my experience, when I saw the things sold out, and I looked on my Discord all day, and I looked at the emails coming in, and you look at the subreddits of people out there saying, I'm still waiting, are you guys getting the same messages I'm getting? And all these messages are, you're in over an hour waiting time, you're in the queue, you have 20 minutes to complete your purchase. That's a lot for people to go through. You only have an hour for lunch. What are you going to do? Keep it on a, on a little browser open on your screen, hoping that you get through so you can click and make your purchase. Now, for a lot of players as well, they got distracted. Something comes up. Um, you lost internet at work. I know. It was horrible today. But it could be worse. It can always be worse. Because here's the second, the second part that I want to mention in today's video. There was that post by Rosewater talking about the universes beyond products and the universes within, right? Like having the cards like the walking dead as generic magic cards with the same text, having the same effect, but not the walking dead artwork or names and stuff. And he says they can't really do that anymore. And that got me thinking. And then a friend really pointed it out to me. They are going to sooner rather than later have enough universes beyond products that have come out. Everything from Warhammer 40 K, the walking dead. I don't care. You name it whatever's been out there, Doctor Who. But sooner rather than later, they're going to have enough of these products together that although they won't be able to put generic ones back out again, it might be too hard to insert them into slots in the game, there's nothing stopping them, as this friend pointed out, to having a Universes Beyond Master Series product. Like Ultimate Masters, like Modern Masters, you could have a Universes Beyond master's product at a premium price but it would be available for any people who never got to buy the cards that may only be a couple of years away we know they have a five-year plan for marvel we don't know what other universes beyond products are coming in things like assassin's creed final fantasy they are going to have a large enough pool of cards that they can probably start creating a master series product it may start out small but it may get very big and that would allow for the secondary market to get the cards they need the players who never got any can now find them and the prices will come down and things could be much more obtainable and i hope that that actually comes to pass at a reasonable price point because as you guys know on this channel i'm all about the price not usually the products i don't really come down hard on products if they're at the right price point but when i think a product is too expensive for what wizards of the coast is giving us i will get very complainy and naggy about that kind of stuff and the idea of a universe is beyond products seems very likely since a lot of the other series products have done well in the secondary market at the higher price point. Things like Modern Horizons 3 have done very well, Modern Horizons 2, and this would allow them to carry that product line forward without having to reprint them inside of boxes in weird slots of the game just to try to justify it. Yes, they would still be the universes beyond cards. You're still going to have the Assassin's Creed characters, the Final Fantasy characters. Maybe they'll give us Fantasy Star, maybe Evil Dead whatever things they add into that IP pool of Universes Beyond, since they're going so big with this many sets now being standard and being Universes Beyond, it just stands to reason that they are going to give us at some point a Universes Beyond Master Series product. And that's something I think we can't discount. Which means if you're a player who misses out on some of these, these secret layers that just sell out so quickly you can't get your hands on them, I think there's that, that light at the end of the tunnel. And yes, Wizards of the Coast is going to make money off it. And yeah, they're going to cash in. But at least it'll be available for players who want to get it. And for the richer players out there who open multiple boxes, a lot of those cards will end up in the secondary market, allowing for cheaper prices, which is a good thing for a lot of players to be able to finally enjoy some of these cards. I want to know what you guys think, though. How was your experience today in the queue? Did you get product or did you not? Are you hoping for a Master Series Universes Beyond product if it's at a decent price point or even an expensive price point? These are comments I think we have to go through, but I want to know what everyone's experiences were today. Guys, thank you again for hanging out with me on the channel today. I hope you had a little bit of an insight of what was going on. I don't like what I'm seeing on eBay. I hate to feel that this stuff is all going down on you know November 4th today when I put this video out, but I think we had to talk about it. Now, here at the end of the video, if you've made it this far, 
I may not be able to produce another video by tomorrow at 11.15, my normal time for videos. Uh, if you don't see a video up, it's because there just wasn't enough time in the day. And this is the video I had to try to put out because I think it's an important topic. And this important topic needs to be discussed while it's still red hot on the iron. Because I think if players understand that there may be products coming later, and they also could reprint this as a second wave if it's popular enough, because they have said that they would reprint cards that are popular. If the secret layer sells out, it's too fast, they may put more into the market, okay? So keep that in mind. There's always a silver lining somewhere if we look for it. Thanks again for hanging out with the Mox, man, and I will see you guys tomorrow. A reminder, if you enjoyed today's content, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Guys, I will hopefully see you tomorrow with another video. Hey guys, a big shout out and thank you to the fantastic patrons of my channel. Because of those patrons daily, uploaded content is made possible each and every day of the week. So if you're one of my patrons, one of my YouTube membership members, or just a regular loyal viewer who tunes in every day and gives the videos a thumbs up, thanks again for supporting my content creation. Thank you for supporting my channel. And I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. Wait, we're still not at the end yet? What, this thing's still going? It's amazing. You guys are awesome. Universes Beyond Master Series Product. Ramble jamble, but you heard it first. Did you hear it first? I think I said it first. You guys will let me know.